hello. Here are some unfucking yourself protocols for getting through your shit ass mood. First things first, if you're fucked, then you'll want to make unfucking the priority. Doesn't mean don't handle your shit, it means do what you gotta do, but prioritize yourself and your own well being for a change. Face how you feel. Feeling shitty but pretending you're all good won't help. If you're depressed, then fully be that. Acknowledge and accept it in the moment. Same with anxiety. Anxiety gets pressurized when you bottle it up, so don't fucking blow. Places become saturated by memories, so if you're feeling like shit, then fucking go somewhere else for a while, if you can. Go walk around the block, go take a drive, go get some gas, go to the store and buy some healthy shit, or just go stand outside and close your mouth and breathe through your nose for a while. If you're stuck somewhere, you're fucking stuck somewhere. Maybe go sit on the toilet for some alone time. The point is, don't marinate in a triggering environment too long. Remove location from your variables, and you might disrupt whatever is triggering you. Quit ignoring those thoughts. You know the ones, the ones you keep trying not to fucking think? While you're out driving or sitting on the toilet or wherever the fuck you end up, have a little conversation with yourself and call your ass out. Bring those thoughts to the forefront of your mind. I know they're unpleasant and that's why you're ignoring them, but better to talk it out either with yourself or someone you trust because they'll haunt your ass otherwise. Sometimes they can be elusive though and are way in the background of the mind as sort of a malaise of static. If so, you can do some homemade EMDR therapy. When we walk, the opposite opposite swinging of arms and legs does something to our brain which allows us to see deeper than we normally can. If you can do it in some nature, all the better. There's this thing called forest bathing. It lowers blood pressure and reduces stress hormones, so give your fucked up thoughts a bath. If you can't walk, try doing this and see what bubbles up. Your shit might not present as a coherent thought at all, so pay attention to how your body feels. It might be a tight chest or a churning gut, maybe a burning taint. I don't know what's going to happen. You've got to be willing to look and just sit with whatever thought or physical feeling comes up. Then maybe you'll have something to work with. Do one fucking healthy thing. Drink an entire glass of plain ass water. Sit on the ground and stretch. Keep breathing through your nose, not your mouth. Whatever you perceive healthy to be, fucking do that thing. It sends a message to parts of our brain that we can't directly talk to. Action is a commandment to your trillions of cells that they need to get their shit together because we're getting fucking healthy. Exercise will cause your brain to make feel-good hormones and you will get high on your own brain juice. May not make you fucking ecstatic or overjoyed, I mean it could happen, but it will at least help cancel out your shit mood and going from shit to baseline normal is pretty fucking great. Vigorous exercise is better than anything else you can naturally do. Depression makes us lazy fucks, so you gotta push against it. Or just marinate in your shitty brain chemicals, I'm not the fucking boss of you. Pick one fucking thing that you've been putting off and then do the fucking thing. That's it. Just do the fucking thing. Especially if you don't want to do the fucking thing. Just that one thing. You'll see. In a sense, we are slaves to our hormones. The first mitigation is stop doing dumb shit and start doing healthy shit. Get more sleep, hydrate, eat healthy shit, communicate honestly with people, move around more. Just do all the very basic things in a simple and appropriate way based on our evolution. Mental health isn't a concept that begins and ends in your bone melon. We are an organism. It's all fucking connected, see? Every stream leads into a river and every river connects to the sea. Identify the polluted rivers in your life and start cleaning that shit up and start Start pouring the waters of healthy action into them. Even just one clear trickle will eventually clean out a muddy pond and will make a big fucking difference downstream. We're also a slave to our thoughts, if we allow it. If you're feeling like shit for no apparent reason, then figure out if you're depressed by something in the past or worried about the future. Maybe it's both, but those are things that exist entirely within the thought plane. If we aren't paying attention to thought, then through total identification with thought, we may become fucked. If said thoughts are a conglomeration of unresolved shit from our past or fear of the future. Observing thought allows you to take a step back and reduces identification. You know you're not your fucking thoughts, right? You know that the mind is a lucid, wakeful, but essentially empty field within which thoughts come and go, right? I promise you that you do know, but thoughts have bound that cognizant knowing field to themselves and obscure this most obvious of experiential truths. But if you're fucked, that's for later, and it's not very helpful when you're in the shit, so to counter past memories that have no inherent reality, to neutralize worries about a carrot on a stick future that'll never actually come, be present right fucking now. Don't try to be present. Trying to be present is an effort which activates the thought plane. Being present is your base nature. Presence is a portal into that silent and still lucidity behind thoughts. The mind river runs beyond the surface of thought and is connected to the ineffable wakeful sea of reality. 
Just be in your natural state. When you look at a thing, see it. Don't label or judge or categorize it. Just see it with unhindered attention. Feel your inherent awareness, the very fabric of your experience within your meat tractor. Do you feel yourself in your hands? That's you in there, unfucked with by thought. Spread your attention into your whole body. That's just you existing. Notice the impulses of the friction and pressure of clothing. Feel the pull of gravity on feet or ass. Let sound enter without judgment. They're just waves vibrating your eardrums. Do you get the idea? Just breathe your breaths and sink your awareness into your meat tractor to reduce your focus from thought to existence. It's really just about remembering. Thoughts really want to fucking be thunk, and they make it hard. They suck us in. You can practice weakening that bond, and you don't need to be sitting in a lotus posture with incense burning. Anytime you do not require thought to perform a task or survive or work out some knots you've been ignoring, start a practice of letting unproductive thoughts go. If you can stop a thought midstream and just let it dissipate, you will begin weakening thoughts hold on you. If you feel like, okay, I'll stop thinking it, but after I finish thinking of it, or in other words, if the compulsion to think the thought is so great that you just have to see it through, those are the thoughts to let drift away the second you fucking realize them. Cutting those in half like a cloud in your clear sky, sliced and allowed to disperse, is where the real fucking work's at. Now, for fuck's sake, don't confuse this practice with not dealing with your shit. That ain't it. Sometimes we need to go deep into a rabbit hole of thought for the sake of discovery. I'm talking about discerning old thought loops or negative code, anything non-productive. That's what we are weakening. Set aside time to think about shit. If your face is constantly in your phone, then you're not dealing. But so too, take time to practice not thinking about shit. You can do it through meditation, but you can also do it through action. Go do some fucking dishes. Go sweep or organize something. Take a walk. Do that thing you've been putting off. Practice then. Two fucked up birds, one stone. Thoughts are constantly happening. If you try not to think, they get all pissed off and agitated and reproduced exponentially. Just watch, and when you realize you're thinking one, let it go, no matter how compelling it is. And then the next, and then the next, et fucking cetera. Mind is the cognizant sea of your experience. Thoughts are just the waves. We don't notice this because our very faculty of knowing is tied up in thought. A fish doesn't know what wetness is because it's never not been wet. If you want a glimpse of your natural state beyond thought, ask yourself a question. Don't worry about answering it, just sincerely ask yourself this, and you can press pause for a minute if you want. Ask, I wonder what my next thought will be. Or you can try, how do I think a thought? If this didn't really work for you, that's okay. It's data about how diligently your thoughts want to rule the fucking roost. If it did work, then you got a glimpse. And what did it feel like? Nothing new, right? Not that big a deal because that is your true state in perpetuity. So naturally, it's no fucking biggie because you're always that. Welcome to your wetness, little fishy. Anywho, I hope all this helps. These are all things that will have a positive effect and can help pull you out of the shit or maintain feeling okay or even happy, but it takes time to overwrite our code, so it's best not to have huge expectations. Focus on the actions and keep after it. You know that Lamaze breathing that women in labor do? Well, my wifey poo did it for 16 fucking hours straight, and I observed that it did not make the contractions go away and it didn't even make the pain less, but gave her something to do other than focusing on how fucking bad it hurt. Then the next thing you know, splat, we're parents, holy shit. So while these things will absolutely help, the important thing is to give your ass something productive to do, rather than reinforce your shitty thought loop that pumps fucked up brain juice into your body. If you figure it the fuck out, then perhaps at some point you can give something to do for someone else who will be as fucked as you were. Every state is temporary. You just gotta endure during the shitty times and not hold too tightly onto the good. You got this, not because I say so, but because you fucking say so, so fucking say so. Toodaloo.